The work of insight is an intergenerational, intersectional approach to unlearning, to unlearning what has been systematically and socially embedded into all of us. Insight is asking its participants to sit in moments of uncomfortability and ask themselves, what if it's true? What if it's true when a historically marginalized individual or community says something about you or your organization? And how does one sit with it without trying to fix it or control it or rationalize it as we've been taught? Insight is building participants' tools to deepen their reflective practice and uproot these faulty learnings and make room for relearning and growth. I have been a part of their race and equity trainings, I've been a part of their community gatherings, and in each they're able to bring people from institutions that govern the landscape of our arts in this nation, as well as organizations that are concerned about the health um, and safety and transportation of the citizens of Phoenix and Tempe and Arizona, and they've been able to propose to them questions that gets them to recognize their position of privilege, their position of power, and to be able to help them see that they are also responsible for the dismantling of systems that are in place that systemically oppress people. As Insight continues to develop our theory of change, which focuses on making the margin center, one of the things that we needed to acknowledge is that as we work with these institutions um, and as they consider their place-based work, oftentimes the only way that they even see or hear from the marginalized voices of that place um, is through dissent of one form or another. That, that's usually the only thing that starts to become legible. Um, that is also authentically the community's voice. Um, and so part of, part of what we are, are wrestling with is how do we better understand from an institutional perspective, how do they interpret dissent um, and different types of dissent. Um, and as we explore the, the continued work of racial equity, um, how do we understand how maybe some of those interpretations need to be reimagined um, in order to to do the work of censoring the margins. Insight developed a white fragility tool, which outlines the seven stages of white fragility. And working with the leaders in the REA sessions, we looked at the ways in which, this, which the seven stages of white fragility can prohibit our ability to have deep conversations around racial equity and around racial justice in the art sector. And this tool has been instrumental in changing the ways that white folks, namely white folks, but also people of color, are able to look at white fragility and address white fragility in direct and complex ways. Insight's ultimate goal is to impact equitable outcomes, but the practice they've developed understands that that requires a focus on process on fundamental shifts in the approaches, behaviors, and values of institutions, which is challenging and vital work. Their approach to placemaking work is grounded in a place-based approach to equity and justice. And this emphasis on deep understanding of place, power, system, and process as the starting point to placemaking work is something that I think is unique and valuable about Insight. Although the cohort um, is small for the REA trainings, the impact on the art sector has been tremendous. Um, there are larger conversations happening now that weren't happening before. Um, all of the participants that came into the cohort at some point in time came from a training on diversity, equality, inclusion. Insights curriculum for the racial equity trainings 
made participants push past the standard uh, diversity and inclusion trainings and really made participants have a deep reflective practice of themselves in the work to look at their own power dynamics, to look at whiteness in spaces, to look at how systems have been set up um, and policies are in place to invisibilize historically marginalized individuals. And uh, participants really were able to sit with that and it made some people really uncomfortable. It also um, was an awakening for some folks and these two polar opposites have really shaken the art sector and allowed for a larger conversation outside of the cohort.